we will see about determination of porosity of a refractory refractory or materials which can withstand very high temperature so for example bricks bricks used for construction purposes and uh, bricks are used as a lining in the furnaces furnaces are the instrument or the apparatus used for manufacturing metals or for manufacture extracting uh, metals from their ores and all okay so porosity of such a uh, refractories it is very essential to determine because it is uh, related to certain characteristics such as its um, stability um, strength abrasion resistance thermal conductivity and all here is a diagram for blast furnace used for manufacturing or extracting metals from their ore the raw materials such as ore limestone coke or um, added into the furnace through cup and cone arrangement okay and uh, the metals are extracted in the molten form at the bottom and you could see the unwanted uh, by products are formed the form of a slag at the top of the molten metal this slag has to be removed from the metal uh, you could see the refractory materials are acting as a lining here to withstand the very high temperature prevailing inside the furnaces okay so how the porosity should be for the refractory materials that are acting as a lining for the furnaces it should not be very high because it is related to or um, it affects other characteristics such as thermal stability strength if it is highly porous the stability will be less strength will be less and abrasion resistance abrasion resistance will also be less if it is highly porous if it is highly porous thermal conductivity will also be less so um, normally the porosity should be moderate or it can be low it should not be very high and as well as high porosity will lead to thermal spalling thermal spalling means it's a uh, property by which the refractory materials may be um, broken down or degraded by uh, slag penetration so a good refractory must have low porosity or moderate porosity step 1 in the experimental portion is the sample which weighs around uh, 20 to 60 g is dried in uh, oven at 120 degrees celsius for 30 minutes so that the moisture present in it will be removed okay the next step after 30 minutes of drying it is removed from the oven and cooled in desiccator desiccator is a glassy apparatus consisting of calcium carbonate so this will prevent the further adsorption of the moisture to the sample step 3 now the sample is weighed and the weight is taken as w1 gram okay then after that the sample is taken in 250 ml beaker and distilled water is added to it until it get immersed uh, and then it is boiled now after it is getting boiled for about 15 minutes okay it has to be taken out and cooled to room temperature then the sample must be wiped using tissue paper or a clean cloth and then it has to be weighed and the weight is now taken as the w2 gram so the sample uh, saturated with the water is weighed as 
or taken as W2 gram and weight of the dry sample is W1 gram. Porosity of the sample is equal to W2 which is the wet weight of the sample minus W1 which is the dry weight of the sample. Okay, The whole divided by W1 that is dry weight of the sample into 100. Weight of dry sample W1 we got it as 49 grams. Weight of wet sample we got it as 51.1 grams. Okay, then porosity is equal to W2 that is 51.1 minus W1 49. The whole divided by 49 into 100. And it is 2.1 divided by 49 into 100 that's equal to 4.285 so I can write like 4.29 percentage okay so the porosity of the given sample is 4.29 percentage Hope you understood this experiment, determination of porosity of a given a refractory sample. Meet you all in another experiment. Thank you.